Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Sim UK. Welcome back to, well this is your first episode, this is called Midnight Protocol. It's a brand new game, it's just come out and my god it's good. I started recording this uh, series just the other day and um, unfortunately for me what happened was that I ran out of hard drive space. So after six minutes into my second episode it stopped recording and there doesn't appear to be any way to load back um sort of you know a couple of stages back there's no sort of multi-save option unfortunately so what i'm going to do is just uh delete sadly and we're going to start again because now i have some hard drive space get my old boat race on hello ladies and gentlemen how are you doing i've got to get my old Budapest, 2062. In a surprise change, of course, UnDigiSec has announced that it will be dropping all charges against data. A prominent hacktivist at the centre of several major anti-monopoly and transparency ops. Data was arrested last year following an identity leak. A press statement reads, after a thorough re-examination of all available information, evidence, <laughs> the Digital Security Office cannot verify beyond reasonable doubt that the individual in our custody is responsible for the cyber crimes committed under that alias. Consequently, consequently, we see no elements that ne necessitate an extension of the arrest warrant. In layman's terms, data could have been anyone. Digisex's decision appears to validate widespread criticism that the case was built on shaky, shaky foundations. From the editorial team at the wire.org, data, wherever you are, whoever you are, keep fighting the good fight. Very cool game, this. I am full on excited to get back into this game. It's keyboard only, there is no mouse, and um, it's just very clever the way they've put it all together. Not quite sure where the best place to put my face is for this game. I can't remember the layout. I think it might actually be down there. Yeah, let's let's do that. Username. Doesn't matter what you type in, it just spells data. Doesn't matter what you type in, it just enters the same password. So don't worry about those two things. I restarted the game last time thinking it was bugging out or something. Right. Email. Look. I'm done trying to talk you out of it. They went easy. They went easy on you this one time, and you want to get right back into it? Shit, data. You're violating parole just getting anywhere near a deck. Fine. I know there's no change in your mind anyway. I'm sending you back that old terminal you wanted me to have. It's pretty bare bones, but it should get the job done. Snail has his eye on some easy marks for you. You'll want the funds, I guess. Hey, data. Don't disappear on me again, okay? Be careful. Be safe. I'm gonna say thanks, Clover. I appreciate it. Got to start somewhere again. The Clover has provided us with a network address. And this is like a tutorial, essentially. Um, and over on the right hand side, you can see the information about this uh, address. Plug it in. Clover gave you this address as an easy cash grab. Got a trace level of six, financial node, no ice, two node network, uh, just financial node. So go in, take the money, leave. So I'm probably going to rush through this a little bit. If you want to see the full tutorial done properly, uh, then go watch on Sim UK uh, reviews because that's where that's where it all happened. And uh, this one is just about getting back up to speed, basically. Uh, right. Turn over. We'll end that there. I'll put a link to that video in the uh, description below if you want to go see it. Basically, bottom left-hand corner, we're typing in our commands. And you can see we've drained all of the cash from this financial node. And now we can leave. Simple as that. A plus, got all the cash, all the objectives completed, and we got a grey hat reputation upgrade. 
Good stuff. Email number two. You're welcome. I figured you might like some low-hanging fruit. You spent a year AFK and stuff evolves fast. Your words, I-I-R-C. Snails looking into this, Kraken, you're after. Can't hurt to keep a low profile until we have something concrete, right? Here's another pretty dull one. Give me something real. Come on, Clover. This doesn't get me... This doesn't get us any further. Clover gave me another address. Cool. I like the way that works. Easy mark. Let's do it. So, this network has two financial nodes. Your objective is to drain both. Remember that you can use move, interface, and end. Okay. So, if you look at the bottom of the screen, I've got the access node. That's where I'm currently at. Uh, we've got an interface called reroute. What that does is decrease the trace by three. So, if we get into trouble, we can always use that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a cloak. That will slow down the chances of them tracing us. See, their tracing failed that time round. How much cash is in here? Twenty and fifty. So I might as well. If I see. So I'm using too many slow slices on the cloak, so I'm going to set the cloak to six, and then I can run leech, and then I'm going to move back to F0. So the tracer limit on us at the moment is just one, one level, so that's not too bad. Space is left for uh, leech, so we'll just drain it. Uh, yep, 100% completed. Lovely stuff. I'm a bit lethargic today, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. My daughter had a bit of a cold last night. Four o'clock this morning, she came and got into bed with us, and I haven't got any sleep since then. Bless her. I know, sorry. I promised I'd let you know as soon as Snail digs something up. Still wondering, though. Yeah, crack and put you behind bars, but don't you think you're maybe rushing into things a bit? You had me pretty worried when you vanished. You trusted me before, so trust me on this one as well. Let me handle things for now. Anyway, in the meantime, here's a good payout. If Snail's search pans out, you might need, you, you might need the money soon enough. Trust you. I'm just going to try and keep this. I'll stay off the radar for now. I'm going to try and keep this on the same track as the previous Let's Play so that I kind of get back to where we were. Go to addresses, the wall. Let's go. Came across a scorpion last night. That absolutely kicked my ass. I do believe there's something here, so I'm going to go cloak to protect myself and then uh, we're going to move over here to F0. Ouch! This connection is protected by ice. When you're trying to cross a protected connection, you trigger the ice. There are many types of ice, each with its own effect. Like I say, scorpions, nasty. This binary wall, for instance, stops, stops you dead in your tracks and increases the network trace. Other ice may let you pass. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the slice on the cloak and then I'm going to run dagger. Dagger is effectively attacking this thing here. Uh, and there's nothing else I can run at the moment, which is kind of frustrating, but. I'm 
Okay, so I've got an interface option here called reroute. That will drop the trace back down to zero. And we're in. What's dot F zero? So there's a data node there, so let's run a leech. Let's go over to the data node and see what's going on. So in the interface I can download whatever content is in here. It's going to take two turns. So for now I can move back to F0. I'm out of actions. It, pretty much done. Splendid. You can now exit the network with the exit command. Data transfer to terminal. Okay. Yes. A plus. I love getting A pluses, but trust me, once you get out into the real world, in this game. You ain't gonna be there anymore. Ghost network, let's decrypt it. The data bit has given you a network address. Go to the address panel. From Daniel to Chris, I had the IT guy set up the ghost network. He threw in a hangman program to free the Titan free for free to tighten up security. Here's how I understand it. The system node monitors the base network for transactions, intercepts them, skims a bit off the top. Before forwarding the transaction to the actual recipient, obviously we need to cut him in, so I offered him a 10% cut. It's going to make us rich, dude, from Daniel. So they're, they're stealing from their company, basically. If you look at the logs, I've got to follow the trail now left by Databit. So, we need a sniffer for this one. So I need to go to the deck and add sniffer protocol to my deck and then I can go back and initialize the network. There we go. Okay, let's go sniffer F0. So the traces are eight, so if I run dagger now. Full speed, or near enough. There's not much I can do, really. Traces at three. Let's add a location. So there's uh, another one there, look. The whilst dagger's attacking that, we'll head back over to the main entrance node, or what's it called? System node? I forget what this node is called. The access node. And uh, we'll run a reroute. That'll clear some space. That done. Now we'll run a cloak. At maximum power, and then hopefully it won't be able to trace us for a couple of turns get into the ghost control. There we go. System nodes can control a variety of aspects of a network. Look at the bottom of the screen to see what interface in this particular 
System node does. Think before you act. Your decisions can affect your reputation. So, configure. I am going to take the money that they stole and put it in my own bank account. Job done. All right, we're moving forward very quickly. We're almost up to the point where we take control of the game. Have another email. Okay, Snail's got something. Kraken's been working for the triad lately, mostly swiping medical databases. Kind of menial stuff, but the info seems legit. Anyway, his focus, his focus lately has been something called Sanicorp. Healthcare tech or something. Maybe that gets you somewhere? So, let's see. Thanks. I can work with that. Let me check if the internet has anything on Sanicorp. About this whole thing with Kraken leaking my identity. Not revenge, you know. I just need to know why he did it. How he got hold of that information in the first place. Oh, you clover. Right, so let's go to the intranet, which is this one. And type in Sanicorp. Most of these go nowhere, but this is the only one that's operating normally. We've dug up some useful intel about my target. Go to the email screen to tell Clover about what you found. Come into email, come over to send mail, send it to Clover. Subject is on Kraken. I looked into Sunny Court. Kraken's been raiding their data centers one by one. There's one left untouched. We need to get in there, Clover. Catch him in the act. Email come in. Okay, yeah, that seems like a good bet. Could we pull off a honeypot? Track crack in the moment he touches it. If you get to that network first, maybe you could install a Trojan on the data node. They go for pretty cheap on the black market, right? What do you think? Sounds like a plan. Plant a Trojan, wait for Kraken to take the bait. I'll let you know how it goes. We now have access to the black market. We can buy a Trojan. Add it to our deck. And now we've got a full deck. Go to the address. Honeypot connection. Let's go. Right, trace level is 10. This time your objective is to reach the data node and install the Trojan program. You can control the camera by holding down control and pressing the arrow keys. And there are shortcuts. Alright, so let's go with the sniffer. Let's get sniffer CO. Alright, so as expected. Could have gone that way. I didn't see that up there, to be honest. Get a leech installed on there. Trace of three. Got a cloak running. And then I think we'll run a reroute. No interaction available. Slice cloak set to four. to run the dagger so slice cloak one ok 
Typhoon Wrath 2. Oh, Typhoon. Dagger's going to be a bit weak, but it'll get there. Next turn it should clear it. Freaked me out a little bit yesterday when this happened. You were looking for me. I contradicted you. Or I contradict you. You had to die. I don't know who you're talking about. Can I allow you to exist? Interesting. It's going to take three turns to download. We've got three turns, there's no problem there. I've got to install a Trojan on the data node. So if I, I think I just type in Trojan, right? Yep, Trojan, there we go. And away we go. So now I've changed the slice on the cloak. So slice cloak to five. Checking in on it, is there? Uh, help reach. Okay, we'll skip. Yes, I'd like to decrypt that information now. Hey guys, I got this email about my Sandy Corp account password changing. I don't remember doing that. I guess that's because of the website work you guys were doing. On that note, the job posting for the new system's up. It's still unfulfilled. Please share it among your personal networks. From Ben. I'm not sure if we're going to try and take that job or not. So just waiting for the Trojan to finish installing. Don't know how many turns are left. Great, you can exit the network. Okay, job done. Trojan installed. All objectives completed. Grey hat reputation gained. Nice. Go to email screen to inform Clover of your success. Send an email to Clover. Okay, installed the Trojan. Let's see if Kraken takes the bait. While waiting for Kraken to take the bait, you can earn extra credits and reputation by taking on missions. Reputation will unlock new programs, but can also determine which missions become available in the future. There's three types of hacker reputation. Check the status screen to learn more. Think carefully which networks you want to hack and what damage you want to cause. Okay guys, that's the perfect place to wrap up episode one. I'm going to try and keep them short, but I'm going to try and complete this entire game because I really, really like it. Hopefully you'll join me and uh, see you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye for now.